but I wanted to bring in our social media manager, Jason Romano here. Jason, is that the best way to limit distractions, you think, on social media? To unfollow people? No, I don't think so. I think the best way to limit distractions is to sh just stay off the phone completely, shut it down, which LeBron has said he's done the last few years. So to unfollow 13 or 14 people is... It's a little strange, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's a great point, because if you don't want to be on social media, yep. guess what you have the choice to do? Not, Not be, be on social, social media. But Well, it, you brought up another interesting point, Jason, the mute button. Yeah, there's a little thing on Twitter called the mute button. You don't have to unfollow people, but if you don't want to see them in your timeline, you just go to their page and hit mute. Then it doesn't have to prove to be a distraction. Listen, you don't have to see anything they say. Golix Twitter equals mute greeny. So, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> or just germophobia. To the point where Jason Romano is doing our social media and made this up. And I really like this. It's you in a bubble. You are the bubble boy. You are truly the bubble boy. I'll tell you what bothers me. Where is it? Yeah. It's all well and good to superimpose a bubble around me on social. Romano, you're not doing me any we good. We need to help And you. Romano did a really good job. He took a picture of the three of you guys now and juxtaposed it right. with a picture of the three of you at your brother Greg's 21st birthday. 1982. 1982. So it's a, the picture is 30-something years old. And Romano is aggravated. Jason oh, Romano, boy. our social media director, who is a crazy Cowboy fan, is angry at other Cowboy fans. He writes, as a Cowboy fan, this Romo rumblings on social gets me fired up. People are idiots. Dallas just lost for the first time since September 11th, and now Dallas fans and others are calling for a quarterback replacement. Dumb. And let me tell you, if you knew Romano, those are scathing words. They are. They are. That's as close as he'll come to cursing. It, it's almost fighting words. I almost was ready for him to square up to somebody. To wrap it up for today, guys, please get a shot of Jason Romano yes. for us on TV. So today is the last day, not only with us, but at ESPN for someone who's been here just about as long as we have. Mm -hmm. He worked on our show 15 years ago and then came back in the, in the last year to work with us as our social media director, Jason Romano. And the one thing I will say about him of the many that you could, he is the one thing in life that we need more of. He is a genuinely nice yes, he person. Is. Yes, he is. And he's done a great job for us he's a good over guy. the years. He's a good guy. He's done a great job for us. He will, he will be missed. There's no doubt about it. Though he did say he controls our, our social media, that he's going to put out a really bad tweet and then change the password. Yeah, the one challenge that I've had yeah. with him is he doesn't do a good enough job of screening the, um, the, the, the names, handles. The handles. So yeah. if you tweet something really <laughs> interesting at us, but there's some sort of hidden profanity yeah. in the handle, he doesn't notice that. Well, I think he noticed it, but he's, he's just trying to test you. Trying to, you know that I like to try and read the people's he'll, handles. He'll read, the love he'll read anything that's on the teleprompter. Uh, <laughs> but he is, he is a person who has a great passion for sports, yes. but he has an even greater passion for his faith, and he yes, is following he that. that I'll tell you what, next professional an endeavor. Incredible person that can leave what he's done for so long because he feels he has another calling. So, Jason, tip of the cap to you. You've been a real asset to this company, no doubt about it. Really, we're going to miss you. Now, steal multiple things on your way out. Without the door. question.